Hello and welcome. In this video, getting started in OBS in under five minutes. You can search Google for OBS like I've just done here and you need to go to the download page and get the software. So once you've downloaded the program, this is what it looks like. We have this section here called scenes. Then you have a second section called sources. And then here I have audio mixer, scene transitions and controls. What you want to do with scenes is add a scene. I already have one here called scene one. In the bottom, I have a plus icon. I can add another scene. So I can have a multiple ones. Let's call this one wide and do OK. Let's do another one called a screen and do OK. So now I have one, two and three. The next thing we want to do is add sources. Sources are your different devices. So let's do plus and let's add something like a video capture device. I'm going to call this my camera just so you know what it is and do OK just like that. So in this screen now it gives you a few options. So let's do USB video because that is my capture card. If you're not familiar with that I did a video about how you plug it in and everything so check that one out but this is a quick starter guide. So if you have a webcam or something that would also be listed here. Normally in these settings I'll give you a tips about how to set these settings up correctly but I'm just going to leave it as default and do OK. So my camera has been set up. You'll see the orientation here is different to a normal setup. Normally it's like a square, like that's a terrible square, but you normally get a square format. You can change that. I'll show you how. So firstly, we've added a, a camera in. So that camera feed will look like, just to give you an idea. So next I want to add something else. I need to add my microphone. So let's do add and then audio input capture because we're inputting audio into there and call that while well, we already got one called there. Mic. So let's add mic and then do OK. And then here it'll ask you which device is your microphone. So you need to be familiar with your computer and you can set in the right microphone. And then here you can see now I can monitor the levels of the mic. The second word is, is. And here there's a few tips that you can turn your volume down. You can turn it up. You can click on the speaker, which stops the mic, turns it on. So we've added a camera, we've added a mic. Those are the two things you need to set up. Uh, quite quickly so the next thing we want to set up is make it fancy let's go to another scene because I had scene one and then I have scene two so in scene one the camera will be slightly different in scene wide I can put something like a capture of my screen so display capture display capture screen okay and now here you can see a capture of my desktop screen which you can select from here and there's two, I've got two monitors, so either one of those monitors can be used. And that allows you to show your monitor. You can see this is my desktop, which is there. That's desktop one. And then if I wanted to switch back to the cameras, I'd go to scene. And then I'd go back to scene one. So I have two items in there. There's additional good things you can set up here, which I'll show you separately. Let me take you over to the last menu quickly to give you an overview of this. Over here is the main bit you're interested in. So here you'll see it says start streaming, that first button there. And then the next one is start recording. You can use two types of options here. Let me show you which one's which. So for start streaming, a certain stream option will apply, which you go to file, settings, and then this box appears here, and you can go to stream. So you can see this is a stream setup here that I can do on Reddit. So I normally use this a separate one for Reddit streaming and that's the streaming service. You can select the drop down box and change that to YouTube or Twitch or whatever you use. Um, and then output, let me move my camera out the way. Output is recording the file, which is a second button here, which is start recording, which records to your hard drive. So you can live stream to a live streaming location. So click live stream, start streaming and that will stream. At the same time, you can do start recording and that will record it to your hard drive. So looking on here, recording settings, I've got a file path here which is where it saves my videos and then I've got a video bitrate for Reddit it's lower it's only 3500 I can make that more like 15,000 uh, yeah 15,000 and that's better video bitrate for like 1080p video for hard drive use or video editing um, and audio is your basic bitrate I normally for Reddit I can only use 128 but normally I use 256 makes it sound better basically, uh, more better quality. If you don't want to buy video editing software, you can actually set up OBS in a way which eliminates you having to use video editing software. So if you check out this next video that I've made for you about OBS, I explain how you can use OBS as a sort of video editing software. I'll see you on that video.